The Stellaris Endgame Crisis. Usually a random spawn between three factions with their own unique counters and ways of stopping them. However, in the huge mod Giga Structures, there is a custom crisis that comes after this, the Block Cats. I've never fought them, seen them, or know exactly what they do, so in this video, my aim is to defeat the Block Cats, if I can, and discover who and what they are. They can spawn 100 years after the endgame date at 2300, or after I defeat the standard 5 times crisis. We've started on this frame world, and we've grown it from size 16 and 29 population, to size 87 and 482 pops by mining asteroids, fabricating station modules, performing logistical optimizations, salvaging any habitats from our enemies, and growing and liberating other Xenos. We've just defeated the Steve Hive mine who became a galactic crisis while swiftly taking down the custom mid-game giga crisis the kitzan we are currently eight years away from the end game date so we must continue build up our fleets repair restore and build all of these mega structures and giga structures and expand our vassals and our ever expanding frame world now the first thing we're going to do is go back home and finally upgrade our fleets. They have not been able to upgrade for a good while. We've already queued up a bunch of districts. We're just using all the districts into research, unity and alloys because, I mean, our energy is kind of sorted with grids, workers and the other resources are sold via our vassals. Now the one thing we don't have is alloys, which is going to buy a bunch. We have so many energy. And something we are lacking is influence. Everything uses it. Mega structures, giga structures, vassals, expanding the frame world. So we can actually use will to power for 807 unity yikes but it's going to give us five monthly influence which we really need but we are expanding our unity game we do get 1000 just from this just from our frame world and we're constantly expanding it we're at plus 375 it's fine and now we're at plus 11 influence now this is recorded pretty much straight after the other video any tips you've told me to do um i haven't seen i wanted to make sure i actually get to part two because before an update came out and stopped me doing part two against the block cats something else we can can do is actually switch over to the premises which will raise our naval cap and also our galactic power we're going to want to try and be a uh, custodian so that we get even more influence and currently mega structures we have we are constructing a penrose sphere we have the macro engineering testing center we have the particle accelerator and we're repairing a ruined science nexus and we actually have all the research techs but not too much of anything else our core systems here are greatly defended with choke points so we do want to eventually build them up maybe get uh, uh, better defense stuff not that i know how the heck you even do any of that maybe asteroid artillery framework but we've actually eaten all of the asteroids up systems we actually own are in white but if you come over to unions mode we actually have all the stuff in white here everyone else is a vassal of someone so we could maybe do a war to get more i'm not entirely sure if it's worth it because we just want to progress down our technologies and go through all these wacky techs we've pretty much done all the vanilla techs hopefully influence 10 percent that's all you have to say to me and if you're wondering what mods i'm using we're using you UI, overhaul, tiny outliner, and giga structures all linked in the description. And there's some more asteroids to harvest. We just, oh, the influence. It hurts. We are going down to macro engineering, which is a new addition. Helps with mega structures when we finish it. Mainly why we're going at anything to buff those mega structures. From the collapse of the cat sun, populations of the former empire have been attempted to return to their peaceful way of life. Not happened though, and they're just leaving their world. I have no idea what they're doing. Let's hope that doesn't hurt us too much. We found the Kaiser's Rift, and they want to leave. I mean, I don't care. They, they belong here as members of the grid. The great grid amalgamation. You can't leave us. Pursuing further research in this field will unlock increasingly large warship. That's how you convince me to take your tech. We're currently just running a bunch of corvettes and cruisers. <laughs> hey, they work, but we do have like asteroid artillery. We do have battleships. I make a fleet full of artillery battleships. That might be cool. We have a lot of naval cap. Whoa, because we help them revolt, we get a bunch of resources. Holy moly. Sure, we'll accept that. <laughs> I have no idea what this does, but it looks like more science oh yes we'll do that drone signal interference on our only planet minus 30 percent stability are you serious i mean we already have 100 anyway doesn't leave them out unlocks mega structure suck, suck. <laughs> uh yes these tags really know how to get me uh pick them we do have a wrecked attack moon but we need celestial body weaponization keep an eye out for that one in a big big old attack moon mega structure build speed i'm just gonna pick that whenever we see it the quicker we can build these mega structures we're limited to upgrading or repairing 
two for building. Yeah, we've got the frame of the sphere. And now we have to upgrade it even more. It takes 1500 days. But this is going to be sick. Glue. Okay. Suck and glue. Suck is finished. Can't build it because we're limited. What does it even do? Oh, it makes energy motes and exotic gases. Um, why does the stellar particle still have events? Uh, it's fine. Black hole forming, whatever. Ah, it doesn't matter. Unlocks mega structure planetary defense nexus. That sounds cool. So the buildings should probably become buffing buildings rather than just raw research because we have the districts for that. We could get a simulation site which is going to give us 5% more unity and then we could also get an abstract supercomputer that gives us 30% more output from my calculators which this district gives. So that's probably better to get in the long term. Maybe it's not good straight away. And besides we have this abstract examination institute too which is just better than an advanced research complex. We're not getting minerals or energies from jobs so there's no point doing that. Probably an ancient refinery is decent too to buff up the refinery district. Yeah. And we could ascend this planet. Mm, I don't think it's worth it. I want more traditions. More asteroids to harvest. Since our influence is very good, we should probably try and take as much science as we can from someone. I'm actually just going to make them a scalarium, actually. They're very good on science. Welcome the Estidi, the first scalarium. Since we have so much unity going right now, I'm going to activate architectural renaissance. More mega structure builds speed more capacity we're back down to 200 unity but it's fine because then we can actually build whatever we want and afford pretty much anything now these are all killer structures then you have mega structures and then there's giga structures eventually i don't think we've unlocked any i'd like to get a planetary dockyard no idea how it works but it's military oh it has to be on a planet and requires starbase uplink building but oh, i don't know if i can build on these planets that's the issue okay this is going to be weird but we're going to go mega art installation so we can get more unity so we can keep these things going keep edicts going we just got gateway construction we want gateways link everything together we're gonna build it in a system back though because then we can militarize science nexus restored getting 600 science from there now that doesn't mean another mega structure can be built not messing with ehoff i can't be bothered <laughs> i've done it in the last video we're gonna try and build the dockyard construction in our other capital that we took that's a ma massive shipyard we can't build it in the other one i believe it buffs the starbase that it's in a system with may as well put it there purpose of the pen sphere we can make it a bomb or use it to generate energy we're going to use it as energy of course we're not going to blow this up it doesn't actually generate that much but we, we need a tech to do it that's annoying i thought it was going to give us so much energy yeah i want a mega ship here to build it there i'm glad i used all the asteroids in my choke point i think to expand <laughs> frame i can't make asteroid artillery well actually i could here i could make this a choke point to the secondary capital choke pointy thing i have there we go it's done now we have to upgrade it and let's go make a gateway to our secondary capital thingy we've got expand heavy industry project place the frame world's industry district which we have a lot of the smaller number of advanced industrial districts advanced industrial districts provide two additional jobs that require volatile modes yeah we want that oh we are really relying on incorporated artifacts artifact relays to have you stability <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it fine we now have titans oh and we are a year over when uh prices can spawn so we're just gonna keep building up until it spawns sure. there's so many hangar techs that i'm seeing i'm actually just gonna build a um hangar battleship class as well very nice we should probably put on all the automated stuff we can change off it depending on the crisis plenty dockyard bunker can grant free shipyards and 20 percent build speed to its star base as well as 40 naval capacity 2.5 percent of naval capacity overall steve will gain one soldier job well we don't care about steve on it that's a construction uplink build building on the star base in order for it to gain benefits which can stack up 20 planetary dockyards within one system so we can replace the hydro bay with what maybe we need to upgrade it first planetary drive yeah i'm really in new territory here i have no idea what's going on we grow a robot every month <laughs> oh that's dumb bumpfully strike cover 30 percent that's a lot planetary dockyard done we need uplink there it is ah we can either have a defense one or ship building and we're actually out of alloys it's time emergency measure Pistol. Odian. We're just ahead. It's actually quite close. But we've just gotten that decision, which is going to bump our alloy gain from 1,500 to the same. The less? Oh, it's not working the job. It did half the amount we needed, so we don't have as many as we did before. Okay. It's going to be the same amount, but it's freed up a bunch of district. Macro engineers finished. That means mega structure build speeds even quicker. We have another ascension pick. Galactic wonders could very be good here. Losses project also is very good, but we don't need it yet. Galactic wonders. 
Just We're lacking the unity to build now. Oh, wow. Eutronium Gigafall. Okay. New resource. There are a bunch of new resources that we have not gotten. Yay, our insulation. We're still winning. Just about. Make a hangar class. Just to make sure. Oh, we can upgrade the science. Oh, this is cool that you get more and more for your frame world. <laughs> Even though it's slightly crumbling a little bit. You can get Penrose stabilization. Yes. Now we can actually stabilize it and it will increase the production of bunch. Mega shipyard done. Oh, well, everything's building. The crisis is not even here yet. Probably go for a Dyson Sphere. Finally, we get a good level up. Output from calculators plus 5%. Lots of science. O class Dyson Sphere. What? We can integrate the Penrose Dyson Sphere. The thing is, we don't actually have any energy jobs, so it's useless. But data processing facilities, that's going to help us. Just need a crap ton of alloys. Okay, we did make the planetary drive yard, which just gives us 5% more naval cap. Pretty good. This is so close still. I can always just take favors off these, though. I have so many rare resources. Bribe them. Just to make sure we win, we can just use 100 influence to tip the scales a little bit. <laughs> we have a juggernaut. We just researched the juggernaut. And we can get more strike craft speed and stuff. We get colossal assembly yard. Oh, we're slowly killing the star. I guess then we get rid of some of these negative traits. Ship builds speed and cost from energy credits. It's, it's, it's very annoying. Okay, we now can do upgrade data process facilities. We're going to do straight away. Our alloy income up 2k now as well. It's going well, but the prices could spawn at any moment. I would go and like vassalize everything, but they're all in a defensive pack. And I do not want to fight a three-way war. It's going to be painful if I do that. Custodian ship will be ours. Good. Ah, beautiful. Custodian ship. That means more influence. 17. <laughs> okay, let's go build a Dyson Sphere. We have new tradition, but we can't get Giga Construction yet. We need Tetra Dimensional Engineering. Instead, we're just going to go subdiffuse since it's the thing that helps us with war. We get tracking and invasion. Oh, we've got the tech. A Dark Moon. We also can build a Juggernaut. Forgot about that. Specialized attack boons. I love it. And we can upgrade it when we get thousand alloys in a month. Upgrade. Yes. We're getting claimed. How dare they? The data processing facilities have been upgraded go from 8k to i think we went up actually to 8k from 7 and all been worked as well 9k I'm gonna spam out attack wind stuff this looks insane <laughs> let's make it a full hanger i think just doing full armor right and then regenerative hull is insane right 10% armor regen with this much is that not just insane <laughs> lunar missile bar batteries yeah pen everything penetrates shield yes the full shield penetration even if we lose the block cats maybe even the crisis i doubt we'll lose the crisis i'm having fun we've almost a mill in fleet power i don't know if that's enough though my game is going so slow as well and meanwhile i have been building up a station with ancient ramparts which will give the star base massive armor and shield hit point more defensive battle cap defensive grid command center and just a load of hangar defense platforms hack moon specialization yes 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 because we've got our hangar one titanic ring will don't send a submarine to it that too soon maybe that's too soon oh we got the specialization artillery guardian point defense hangar interceptor them but well we're going hangar yeah that's what we like to see it's gonna stay at 300 range these don't have so we can actually switch over to three and oh i think the omega annihilation lance is actually better than the lunar artillery ah but we don't have the power okay so we have to go with like three of them but then we lose on the utility slot hmm we'll keep with this i like having more armor well but we're gonna be sitting back ah oh, yeah we'll be sitting back so let's just go with this it shouldn't engage on its own it's not even built yet yeah i don't really want to upgrade anything else let's build a new mega structure strategic coordination center is probably good or add a deconstructor yes regenerative hole yes we should probably get ah oh, amenities or housing we're gonna get rid of assembly speeds and grab empire size from pot reduction that's gonna help our science a little bit wait they're minus 38 to accept us even though they're an overlord oh my gosh we can just give them a little bit of science <laughs> oh wow okay the chosen will be mine since the crisis is not spawning we'll just take over the galaxy real quick because we get all their vassals as well we do the same here no but we could just kill them we could just murder them although oh we have a bulwark no <laughs> why do you exist united states postal service are taking all of our thing you why we should convince them with about 50 research to join us this bulwark's gonna be freaking annoying though a juggernaut's up attack moon repaired let me see it oh 
Oh, we got a moon. Look at it. Yeah. I can make more. I can make more attack. I mean, Convince a molten baron or frozen world of size five to seven into a celestial warship. How the heck do you get a size five to seven world? I guess you have to do a thing first. Converting these into molten. Did it say molten? Yeah. Oh, I found a five. Yes. <laughs> Another moon. I really want to go basilize the rest of them, but my economy is absolutely oh, no. just being murdered. This evil bulwark. United States Postal Service. Stack a moon construction site. Build board. Another moon. Let's wait. We could build another one here as well. GDF is now built. Gone through, I should say. Back moon's done. We've also got a Dyson Sphere up and running. Oh, we need to make it move, actually. And we are losing all our energy constantly. But the Dyson Sphere should negate it a little bit now. Maddy compressor is also being built. Good. Oh. And we can finally get them off bulwark, hopefully. They become a Scalarium. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of sign. Yep, now they're giving us 2,200 instead of taking 3,000. And they're giving us a lot of fun. But there's only one thing we should probably do, and that's to make the last of them a tributary. 121k starbase. Issue we have is such a big area to attack. And as soon as I do that, the sleepers are awake. This ain't good because they got plenty of attack moves. 4.3 million power. They've engaged. Oh, you idiot. How are you here? How is my juggernaut alone when I made everything follow it? It's so dumb. Oh, you stupid game. I don't like all that's just killed everything that they had. Oh, they're all up here. Oh, another reset. Pick. Well, since the full empires are woken, probably galactic contender. Get rid of our negative traits. Complex drone output. The moon has taken flight. Yeah. Let's, can we merge them? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I wonder, can we do it to the other one? No. Why though? It's four. Oh, it's five to seven. Oh, we did it. We did it. Now, I have been recording for a long time and crisis has not spawned yet. We'll just keep making numbers go up, I guess since we now vassalize everyone. Next thing to prepare for is probably the Awakened Empire, who have 5 million. Holy moly. We have like 1.5 mil. We need that for our resource. Iodized crystals. That gives us so much more tech. Holy moly. And we can remove custodian term limit just like that. Oh, we got our first million. I didn't even realize the two attack moons. Yes. Making that GDF fleet as well. Don't really know what I'm meant to be doing. Probably a Neutronian Gigaforge giving us armor HP. Build it up here. Probably just spam out fleets, really. We have so many alloys. <laughs> Doesn't matter if we go above. We still haven't got tetra dimensional engineering, which is annoying. Honestly, synchronicity is probably the best for planetary ascension effects. 25%, because we should probably ascend our capital. The Fallen Empire is just killing stuff. Look at this. <laughs> what are they doing? I don't think we can kill them yet. Upgrade the Dyson Sphere. Yes. We can just keep ascending this planet as well. More resources. I don't know why we're getting so many. Number goes up, I guess. How do I get the crystals? The Dyson Sphere is complete. I need to figure out how to get the weird resources. I need to use Fusion press a construction site to get iodized crystals. Okay, let's do it over here. Ne Neutronium Gigaforge is complete. Just gets 7% more armor hit points, which helps a little bit, I think. This looks epic, not gonna lie. Oh wow, there's actually an edict that locates attack moon candidates. What's in it? Our expansion planner. Oh, wow. Am I dumb? Yes, because we can just spam out moons. Okay. And we can now compress into a black hole. Get to click it though. Oh, cool. Oh, look. We can get those new resources. Maybe that long lots more text. I've just been doing repeatables for so long. Oh, my moons are now two mil. Oh, what? Oh, no, they're just two. Got that overflow. I guess repeatables have made it really strong. Synchronicity is done. And these engine perks that are good. Giga structural constructs. Yes, that sounds good we can't even make ring world so we can't actually use that <laughs> might be able to use these there's tetra dimensional engineering that's what we needed for that ascension park and giga structure oh yes we're getting giga structures now can we blew up the star yet no we have to find more resources nikola dyson beam phase two stellar redirector okay oh what is this but hey we can actually go giga construct now yay oh this is actually insane they buff the stuff up so much damage the block cuts 15 percent as well perfect oh we're actually compressing it down into different stars oh wow neutral star time we can actually do the mega art installation to map we got enough artifacts so this video is <laughs> going on a little bit. This is the second day of me recording. A lot of time has been put into gigas. I hope you're happy. I'm going to just show bits that are really important while we wait for the crisis and the block cuts. Now, the Fallen Empire are strong. That's currently my aim, to be able to beat them if they decide to kill everything. We do have about three to four mil, but I don't know how good these fleets are for giga. I'm also heavy into repeatables, and I don't tend to go into the repeatables. So I'm not sure if shields are now 
better. Mm, they're getting up there. We're just going to press on with building giga structures and waiting and building up. And to kill some of the lag, we might start integrating different empires because it's ridiculously slow. Look at the game speed. We did actually get fabricate station models times 10 and 5, which is actually sick. I was going to suggest that that should be a thing because it's annoying to keep having to click. But it exists. Don't know how we got it, but we got it. And our subject just got a rebellion. We can go quickly fix that for them. Biggest issue we have is if we don't have artificial relays, our entire planet crumbles. But we only need 100 artifacts for that. And we spent a bunch on that mega structure. So we can actually click it and we're fine. Let's abolish the Galactic Council. We don't need people underneath us. <laughs> we're seeing a massive fleet in action. Look at the lag. Oh my god. Unlock Egypt. Locate Behemoth Planetcraft candidate. Unlock mega structure Behemoth Planetcraft. Evolution of an attack moon. We are going to be building a bunch of those. Influence and unity cost reduction for mega structures? Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see how this goes for them. They died instantly. Oh, we can now compress it? No. We keep going. We need more resources. So we can we fully got the fusion suppressor. We want to detonate it so we can get iodized deposit. Let's detonate it. Supernova. Cut a blammo. And there we have it. Three iodized crystals. Matrios could bring construction site. Half of the stars energy to power colossal computers. I want that. I don't know where we're gonna put it. We're just gonna put it on this star. I don't really care. We now have crystals. So we can now locate behemoth. Planet Craft candidate. And that's exactly what we're going to build over here. The brain is done. Expand it. Expand it more. Behemoth Planet Cross construction built. Marvelous. Read that. And let's take a look at the ship designer for it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Jeez. Actually, I think using this many shield capacitors and going as many shields as you can, like the auto design has done, pretty decent. The T-slot shield penetrate. We may as well make everything shield penetrate. So we go to devastated torpedoes, which we can't actually put on this slot because it will have one neutron. And then we just go focus our committers for penetration. Now, this could be the entirely wrong thing to do. The only issue, the back, we have no shield penetration weapons. Eh, fine. I'm also going to build a Nidavila Hyperforward on this neutron slot. Expand station infrastructure. Max districts 5%. Nice. We will do that. Whoa, this is actually going to fail? No, I can't do maths. It's just going to pass. No more Galactic Council. And we're going to see what these planet crafts can do against a Starite Devourer. This could go wrong. Oh, they, they one-shot it. <laughs> Let's study the core. Oh my god. Energy credits from Megastrix 15%. I wonder how much that buffs me. Oh, like by a K. The main data bank. Oh, that looks epic. Hyperforge time. Okay, now I've got iodized crystals. We can build this high iodized research facility, which will just give more iron. It will mean there's an upkeep for each calculator, but it'll be fine. Galactic power surge. Well, we finally got the crisis. The unbidden. Here they are. They spawned just north of me. Now the issue, <laughs> I have so much armor instead. Oh, we do do a lot of shield damage and go through a lot of shield. But their counter, which is wearing a lot of shields, don't have a lot of that. But we can always retrofit and just make mass shields. We can focus the Bidden as well. It takes so long for the shield to regen. That's insane. Rust is complete. Oh my, that's a lot of alloys. That's not too bad, actually. The first battle, I don't think it's going to be close. It's so laggy. This is not even all our forces. Yeah, they're dead. We lost two battleships. They lost four, five cruisers, 11 escorts. I want to rush them down. The stations don't fare different. Yeah, there's a lot here. How do they fare? <laughs> Not really any differently. lost quite a few corvette whoa we lost quite a lot actually they're not even in range and we've done so much damage <sighs> oh no planet craft engage they do no damage there yeah we barely lost anything there no i split off our fleets by accident i don't think it matters though Yeah, Moon Wolf hasn't even there and we killed it all. And we can take down the pole because they've not actually had time to build anything else. We've done it. Now let's take down the rogue fleet. And they're actually, my vassals, they're doing things. And I got the uh, the Warlock Relic, which gives us a bunch of range and sublight speed. That's actually pretty good. Invasion defeated. A bunch of unity. And hopefully that's the end of everything, right? It's not.
It's really not. Now we prepare for the block cuts. Probably should have put it on a higher difficulty, but we finished Giga's construction now, which means we also do get more damage to the block cut and more research speed, whatever that means. We've also finished the tradition tree, which means we get more resources from our mega structures, which is really nice. Let's see, is there any new things that are celestial warship assembly? Mega structure build cost reduction, attack moon hold points, behemoth planet grabbed hold point, fleet command limit plus 150, but our build speed is reduced and our build cost is increased. We can harvest planetary mass. Oh yes, this is what we're doing. We need to reduce the lag. <laughs> Celestial Warship Assembly. There's a tech, we get a decision. Uh, we can get planetary mass. It's expensive, but we get huge bonuses. Oh, I was told in my Discord as well, if you haven't joined it, you should join because I sometimes ask questions there. We go unyielding because we get Maginot World. We can't actually use Maginot World, but we can do a decision on our frame world due to that tech. So let's go unyielding. And first, let's upgrade our planet. Max Ascension. And oh yeah, we got the percentage bonus on District. Nice. And we're getting even more science due to iodized research facility the hyperforge is leak the inner ring we need so many alloys and the central processor is built it looks incredible we need more alloys though monthly minerals five percent exploit planetary map yeah we can also get lunar scale fabrication protocols more build speed and a macro fabricator we've birthed a quasi star interesting parts accelerator is dead no master ugwe is broken down after 132 of reliable service rest in peace master ugwe uh oh Intergalactical gravitational anomaly. On day survey of the galaxy's immediate gal galactic neighborhood has spotted an intriguing occurrence. And usually high concentration of matter has been discovered. This is intriguing. I wonder what it could be. I'm pretty sure it's the block cats, but I could be wrong. Behemoth assembly plant. Yes. A change in course. While well, undertaking a prolonged study of the gravitational anomaly discovered a few months ago, our intergalactic measuring instruments revealed that the object wasn't moving in a straight line, it's actually following a gentle curve relative to our galaxy, placing it on a firm escape trajectory out of our local group. It suddenly came to a halt, then changed its trajectory and is on a direct collision course with our galaxy. There's lots of theories, but we don't know what it is. We should keep an eye on it, and there's a special project to keep track. They're that many light years away. Oh my, that's quite scary. What? Build the planet crafts and stuff quicker. The Hema Plant Cross movement systems finished, but it's not over. <laughs> it's so expensive. Oh my gosh. It's just gone over 900,000 light years. It's ticking down quick, though. The Hema assembly part done. We're going to have to build that when we have the slot to be able to. But we can use planetary mass now to actually upgrade. How do I get planetary mass? Do I keep upgrading? The last one. Look how. Oh, that's so. Uh, yeah, we're greedy. <laughs> Look at that. It's going to be epic. Oh, I come to a planet and mine it like this. I want like the biggest world possible. Elitio. Oh, you can't. I can't be a gas gent. It probably has to be. Yes. Let's harvest it then. Our hyperforge is done. Oh, look at it. It can still be upgraded more. But the planetary mass thing is taking up a spot, I think. It's so annoying being limited to three, but I probably could have changed it in the settings. But it's fine. Whatever. So now, every six months, we'll get planetary mass. Cool. Let's upgrade the hyperforge because it can give us more alloys. And then once something's finished, we can build the behemoth assembly plant. So we could use the mass to add more planetary size, but I want to save them, I think. Hell, we're not going to be using the mass for a while, actually. So let's, let's do that. What just built? Oh, ho, ho, ho. The behemoth. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Let's put it right behind our stuff, the assembly plant. wonder if three things are building, we can click this. So we can kind of dupe the mega giga structure, mega structure build thing by having a fourth one going, which is these. Because if we can just mine as many planets as possible, we can expand a capital even more. And it's not that expensive. Yeah, we can just click it on everything. We Unyielding is now finished. I did see that Machine World does something. So let's get Machine World. Upgrade drone habitation section. Oh, they give drone output 10%, so it was worth it. And now we can get Maginus stuff. The brain is finished and it's beautiful. 10% research speed as well as that much. So it's been on 41,000. Holy moly. Now what? We can actually build another mega structure. Well, there's a lunar macro fabricator. We can build tack moons from scratch. Yeah. We can build it in the same system. <laughs> we are doing that. You can just spam them out. I don't want to just have so many ships that it likes my game. Oblivion. Behemoth assembly construction part. But we need to actually build it. That's expensive, but it's worth it. 
processing ring. Another, there's another upgrade for it. Oh, we get monthly alloys, damage, and armor HP. Yeah, yep. we're really about to get in that end game. Where is the block cats? Oh, they're over halfway towards us. So we actually do have that implement Maginot doctrine, but we need a Maginot building. We have one last useless research thing, so don't worry about that. I'm just gonna keep spamming harvesting of planetary mass because that seems so good. Just for everything. Oh, because I clicked all those, I can't do the lunar macro fabricator. But yeah, look at that. We're on 34 planetary mass because we're just spamming it, which means we can also just expand here. So this idiot had his mic muted for a bit, but don't worry, I'll summarize what I missed. First, we choose a new tradition. Turns out domination isn't too bad, as it will reduce empire size from pops and district, increasing our research speed. Our hyperforge is finally done. A great source of alloys and even some great empire-wide buffs. Our next giga structure has to be the nickel Dyson beam. Who wouldn't want to build a system destroying laser? 38,000 light years away. The object is coming, and I realize it's coming to Ascension's end. Luckily, on the opposite side of the map, but still in our newly liberated space. And not long after, they have arrived. It is a colossal spaceship, and their intentions are unknown. The block cat harvesters. They are searching a pure, raw energy and their fleets will harvest every last bit of matter. If this inconveniences us, we can leave, and they will not pursue. But do not attempt to slow them down. This does not sound good, but we shall not leave. Our scans are not promising. The mothership has a shield approximately two quadrillion times more powerful than what we could ever conceive. As it stands, their mothership and everything within the surrounding systems would be completely invulnerable to all forms of damage. However, it does not extend out of the mothership system, meaning any ships venturing to neighboring systems should be able to be destroyed given sufficient firepower now i didn't get that when we were playing it may take me a bit longer to figure that out here they come a dismantler and a 2.9 million power escort fleet this is not good we are not strong enough this is going to be one of my toughest challenges yet. And here comes a 435,000 scouting fleet. Surely it's not that weak. It has to be an error. If we want to stand a chance, we need a behemoth assembly plant. Surely this could be the last expensive stage. With 800 days remaining, hopefully it will be ready in time. Let's send our corvette fleet towards the Blockcat scout to see if we can possibly do any sort of damage. The Blockcat's research bureau has formed due to a growing concern of this looming crisis. The required regarding Blockcats will be compiled into block cat knowledge, which will be crucial to stopping their dismantling rampage. This can be accessed at any point, showing this screen. We have tasks and research projects to help us take down the block cats. First, we must analyze the block cat best to shield via a special project, an ending in quietude. The block cat dismantlers leave nothing in their path, causing major stress for block cat and quietude throughout the galaxy's citizens. Every time they consume 1% of our galaxy, inquietude will increase, decreasing stability, increasing de deviancy, but increasing productivity of our calculators on all planets. Something we need to be mindful of, and something we can manage at the cost of influence. The shield remains a mystery, but there are some theories to bring it down. The most prominent being the construction of a specialized giga structure to expose the Vesta to damage. Regardless, it now falls to us to gather a significant amount of block cat knowledge. This can be done via tasks, then spending the knowledge that we acquire that should surely help. The first quest seems relatively easy, and that's to send a science ship to a hard harvested system. And as we expect, there is complete desolation. At least we acquire some vital knowledge, and my knowledge of my mic being muted has finally arrived. Back to live me. I'm so annoyed. My mic's been muted. Oh, so yes. Don't know what happened with the Corvette. Oh, the fighting here. Can we damage it? No. Okay, we should retreat as soon as we can. They weren't lying. Retreat. So we've just got to hide, really, until we can actually do damage to them. They're just consuming everything. Oh, at least we can be consumed when this finishes. Imagine no projects complete, at least. Oh my. 266k up things around it up. Oh, and there's margin of decisions. I have no idea what those do. But we have shield generator raids and defense grid fees. This is this mod's actually nutty. Absolutely insane. Let's do material engineering then. Oh, there's a six day. Oh, we can do more stuff. Cool. And our science vessel was just harvest. We get free knowledge for doing that. Um, can't really do anything else, actually. You know, we have six knowledge. Ah, we can finally fabricate attack moons. Yes. That costs a mega structure thing, though. I was hoping it didn't, but oh well. Oh, they're coming for our mega structures. No. Prize 
guys with so many resources. Here we've got some more knowledge. They are very good at building things packed so densely, almost denser than my brain. Just start doing those repeatables. And the society. Behemoth assembly's done. Holy moly, that's expensive. Why is that so expensive? Dyson is also done, but then like a system away. I don't think it's worth upgrading it then. That's so annoying. They're not hive minded, but they can transfer data to each other. No, oh, they're just hunting. Oh, they're just everywhere. They're not just here. They're really spamming the uh the repeatables for them. We have nine knowledge. We need ten to get the hyperdimensional destabilizer, so we can actually damage them. By then, we might actually have our first behemoth planet craft building. Domination finished. Any essential perks that will help here? Colossus probably the one that unlocks something new oh no they're taking my oh. block cat sightings they want to capture them you must be insane um, at least we can fabricate a planet craft they're killing everything oh my okay we can finally do the hyper dimensional stable destabilizer it will cost a million well it has to be done it takes so long to research the mega structure we're just gonna lose everything before it finishes i needed more science than what we have build more science i'm even gonna build another a research facility even though we can't afford it we have stockpiled the resource or research speed from discovery maybe i don't know there we go we can build it we have to build it over this system unfortunately if we can hold investigate the repeating signal yes why would we say no to these things like if, is it if we want to die <laughs> oh wow these get expensive 38 months and the science ships the gatsu system want to find out more about the pollution that we can do oh we just fabricated another attack moon we'll keep spamming those out let's conceive a block uh, capacity device block gap catch oh it's a mega structure as well the beginning oh it's so expensive how many to breach pollution now 800 i don't i don't have the map for that oh dear <laughs> don't even have enough store that much at least we can get the research edict 10 percent output from our calculators would help i think we're gonna die i don't actually i thought i was doing well on resources but evidently not i got resource size on every single star base too okay we can try and capture oh, i need to make a containment nexus as well <sighs> My first one to start doing the hyperdimensional destabilization construction site. There we go. Oh no, we need a tech for it. Let's do the containment nexus then, I guess. Wait, it says potentially hazardous. Let's do it outside our containment, our little choke point area. We need these containment silos. Oh, we actually have to make a whole infrastructure. Fair enough. On the plus side, they are eliminating lag. Don't hate that. Another attack moon. We're going to start making them now because we need storage ridiculously. 40,000 isn't even that much. We need 800 thousand energy gotta do what we gotta do at least we can get isotetric celestial weaponization <gasps> resource capacity a nexus is done as well we should keep eyes on it the whole time what all right oh you can't actually build multiple of the storage thing so we may as well just keep making attack moons apparently our moons do forty six thousand damage all four of them another planet craft yay storage which we have to upgrade <laughs> this is so stupid am i missing something i'll just get bulwark since it helps on home territory oh there's a bunch of edicts. They actually cost influence. We can actually do damage to them. Oh, we can actually fight them. <laughs> I'm just letting them kill everything. I'm so stupid. In theory, I could do 50% here, plus 15 here, 65%. We can fight them. Block out sighted. Get them. They have 5,000 strength with 50,000. <laughs> Good luck with that, mate. We captured them. Oh, mm, what do we do here? Generate knowledge. Knowledge is power. It is time we fight. I'll activate both these edicts. This oh, they're coming straight for the thing. I think that benefits us. Maybe. Oh, I'm scared. Hostile fleet assets engaged. They instantly killed our attack moon. Oh my gosh. The scraps though. Kill up. We did it. That was a lot more than a mill power. I can't believe we lost three moons. Bad. Oh, we have scrap. Increased damage. Yeah, let's go hunt more of them. Get more scraps. Containment breach. Oh, there was a plus 25 here as well. Yay. 40,000. <laughs> we grind. Here we go. We should have more damage to them, mate. And we can destabilize them. Oh, that's how you get the power source set. Please win this. Looking good. The moon's just got destroyed because I was bad. They're running away, but not for long. 
We lost some things, but it's really not that bad. We can just reinforce that. Not even use all our allies. Because we have a juggernaut, we can just heal here. Hunt them more. We'll eventually be able to get more damage. Here we go, another battle. Not too worried, actually. We have a lot of, like, strike crafts. So maybe we need point defense. But again, we just charge at them. And we win. Minimal losses, really. Just Corvettes dying. They're tanking. Here, 10 ascended planet. We can spend scrap to increase damage. Yeah, I like that. We have tech option. Okay, another fight. Another win. Long term block at scrap weaponization. Damage block at 15%. Yeah. More power. Oh no. <laughs> Half my stuff's jump. Hopefully it doesn't matter. No, this is the crap. I think it's fine. It's got so much hull. <laughs> Yeah, we are losing stuff, but it's actually fine. Every time I engage, I just heal up on the juggernaut, regroup, push on. We finally got that tech. We just need a bunch of alloys because we've been spending it all on our ships. <laughs> okay, we'll save up our alloys. I'd like to try and take down one of the dismantlers, but I'm scared I'm just going to get destroyed by one. Well, wherever they turn up, we'll go for because they just destroyed it all. I don't think we can take on multiple like their fleet and dismantler because we only just managed to take out their fleet to be honest oh the wig and empire trying to kill them but they probably do no damage yeah they do no damage no they jump my they're so far hopefully we can save it oh i've got retreat button ready we're retreating it out. Shield nullification is very bad because we still have our unbidden counters on. We took that out though. We're just a system craft down. On the plus side, we can finally upgrade this. Another behemoth planet. Pew pew. I really don't know why it takes so long for everything else to follow behind it. Annoying. Oh, they're jumping in. Now, I realized before this happened that our edicts are running out. So we would have actually been very bad. We would have lost a lot of damage. Reverse engineer components. Let's go for it. Let's go for core components. Oh, we actually get their stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. We built it, but it costs so much more. Oh, and we need another tech. Oh, it uses so much power. We need to get power from them then. Let's get the core components again. Reactors. Oh, I, I did not want to engage them here. Ah, that maneuver got our juggernaut killed. We can fight them with their own power generators. Their own... Stupid thrusters. Oh, yes. I have to change everything into it. Please do it automatically. It doesn't do it automatically. Oh, they're expensive. Holy moly. Yeah, we can do the destabilization. Heck. Oh, this gives us massive storage. We can actually do the thing. I'm going to have to pause this recording here. It's gone on for flipping ever, man. Oh. <laughs> I've had a little break. This video is the longest. I don't think I've ever played this long in a video. We're embracing the length of this now. I have made an oopsie after reflecting upon my poor decisions. The block cap reactors have insane upkeep and I've killed my economy. <laughs> Ships, 34,000 upkeep. So I've changed them all except for Corvettes because I want my Corvettes to be speedy as hell to get in there and max evasion the tank or draw the fire for our other ships now i've changed a lot of the ships to more balanced stuff i don't know what is good but i'm not going to try i'm just going to balance i'm also changing planet craft to giga cannon instead of bypass i just want to go pew and then they die basically mass artillery yes now let's upgrade everything and save my money i'm also going to spam out some dyson spheres because i do want to have some block cap things but look we just upgraded a bunch and we saved us so much energy there and again look at that we're also shifting into some energy on this world mainly because i do want to use the components potentially so we'll just build up and we've got all of our traditions really set and we've got so much unity production i don't know if i pay upkeep on the ships in the gdf but i'm not going to risk it wait there's no upkeep i don't think we do pay upkeep actually Actually. so let's keep all this stuff on then yeah we're already plus 7k again the ships were the biggest issue there it means we can start saving up for that 800k thing we've been aiming for our economy is very much fixed now and this dyson sphere constructs so quickly holy moly wait i got my military oh i got my fleet killed my military fleet oh we can finally upgrade this oh i get a penrose oh my gosh i should have done that decision so long ago they're dangerously close to our borders i think we're strong enough to take them i don't know maybe that's my overconfidentness also this fleet should fly very very quickly now. Well, it can go hyper really that early. Found out how to reprogram captive block cats. Yeah, sure. No. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I hate the par things so much. Ugh. Our GDF fleet 
got memed as well as i'm an idiot and i didn't even have any of them have any of the edicts on they could have maybe actually killed it weapon to pierce the heavens mega structure build speed and more cap take it okay, surely we do decent damage here oh yeah we took out four things instantly they've done no damage to us and the corvettes can get in range yeah now we just need over half a million alloys and the tech the destabilizer we lost so many corvettes though <laughs> oh we do so much damage our corvettes get me we're not going to build corvettes anymore i think oh we just landed straight on them don't think that benefited us there i uh i've got a lot of energy now <laughs> what got 5k from our capital let's make alloys instead now we can now re program block that surely that's gonna help us we can also attempt to breach pollution and we have to kill something we can do that though well i hope we can do it yes we can dive into pollution we need a skill six scientists and we only have a five <laughs> here we can destabilize grand injectors almost there probably should save half a millet uh alloys we got another behemoth bro here we got that level six leader finally no we actually have the last tradition diplomacy or politics they're both i think oh my gosh we're doing damage now we barely lose Using stuff wait we did that without edict on the grand bunny information please I don't care. Contact the Grand Bunny. 2,500 monthly. For the Grand Arm prize, of course. I literally do not care. Okay, let's excavate that. Hopefully that helps. Now the cars are about to die. We can now fully construct the hyperdimensional. We need 200,000 more alloys. Uh, I'm trying. Should have gone politics, actually, because it unlocks new resolutions. I'm so stupid. I just got it, but now I'm lacking the unity. Uh, oh, the most beautiful thing. Finally. And then we can take them on. We can't afford to recontain oh no but we can if we just wait a little bit <laughs> oh, so i did get him it's done hyperdimensional destabilizer complete we can finally strike back even though we have been the whole time holy moly there's more upgrades can i just activate it now oh it only lasts two years and it costs four hundred thousand. okay i don't know why we wouldn't upgrade it again can we just jump in and murder them maybe wow we can actually just use our jump drives interesting i just realized i can build a celestial warship if it's a star five attack moves and four behemoth planet crops into a system crops we're gonna build that I'm gonna make more behemoth family yards too i've done tests and i can't defeat them <laughs> may have may not have saved scum a few times the annoying thing is the ai can't do anything can't do any damage but i can get my hands on their powerful weapons that's what i've been saving up for if there's anything we can get and just waste our energy on is the big boy weapons hopefully that helps i have no idea what this thing is oh we just instantly kill it but it was just a block cat damage block cuts 10 percent. we're stacking it we're stacking the things yeah max moons in a eight attack wounds of this we just got the exot weapons honestly they're worse than omega eraser beams we just got the t-slot weapons they're worse than the omega eraser beam but they cost nowhere near the power and they're better than these planetary missile barriers by a lot so we're going to uh, fight the bullet i don't care how much it costs but them on other one everything we can no we don't die this is only titans stack moons they turn titans into something insane my titans had a flipping auto cannon and on didn't they investigate temporal disparity okay an actual new thing and i also got kicked out of the awakened empire after i saved them and that was from doing the silage you need to send one behemoth planet calf and two attack moons here that can be done system solar compressor activated like gluing them on let's see the new weapons in action then oh <clears throat> I can solo them with assistance, bro. Surely I can kill the stupid things. He needs two more moons. Wow. Are you really engaged? It's actually insane that I can just take him on just my moon now. And this is without Edith. Maybe this is the one. Come on. Come on. Yes. 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 I'm dying as well. It's 2,421. <laughs> Lunar Sports built. It needs two planet crafts well it's half of what we have but it's worth it hopefully hopefully this is the last stage i want that system craft it needs another behemoth planet craft and another moon and 40 pop this better be worth it why system craft rue there we go now oh, my juggernaut died again it's about time i can't be able to read it walk out temporal displacement knowledge 
eat, but I don't care. I just want to kill them, please. Get a ray of doom. Five day cooldown. I think that one's better. <laughs> this is a mess. Yeah, I think this fiend's better. It's just more expensive. And I can't put it here because the thing covers it. And I'm not bothering to change these because it's fine. Whatever. Okay, we can very easily, hopefully, to get this stuff again. We lost a moon. The system craft. It is done. Surely we can kill and win this game now, please. Let's see this bad boy in action. Come on. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're hunting now. We're going to activate this thing. We have two years over there. We could jump to it. Oh, we're jumping to it. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Please. It's dying. I have no words. You do not know how long I played this video. Nine hours. Nine. I'm reading this whole thing. Block out Vesta obliterated. Breath of its esoteric shield and subjugated to... Why are you make, using these massive words? Prodigious quantities of high energy fire. The block out Vesta begins to falter. At first, unnoticeable. The cascading failure of its layered defense system is rapidly intensified by the sheer intensity of our weaponry before finally hitting the point of no return. In moments, the hyperdimensional structures surrounding the vessel within higher dimensional space violently unravel before prompting crashing down into our reality. The blog cat Vesta, unequipped to deal with this, such catastrophic levels of damage, collapses onto itself as the very laws of physics buckle under the immense quantities of its energy pouring into the vessel's ruptured frame. The resulting dimensional shockwave disrupts the intrinsic hyperdimensional components of every block cat vessel with the galaxy obliterated them in mere instant. The rapid dissembling of the crafts is punctured only by a myriad of FTL trails heading into exagalactic space. Presumably individual block cats hurriedly fleeing the unexpected catastrophe befalling the seemingly invulnerable armadas. It takes some time for the flood of energy emitted by the disintegrating block out vessels to stop flooding our senses. But when it finally subsides, the outcome is undeniable. It is over. Block out. Oh no. Oh. We have one. I don't even care what we get. <laughs> Don. <laughs> Protopsis, I'm here with the wounds. I don't care. Victory at last. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at this galaxy, it's all gone. Dust. But I'm done. Done. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video, you like the time I use a mod where the galaxy shrinked every year. Can I be the last surviving empire? You gotta click to find out.